this is one of the most frequently asked question to me and most of the people don't even know that this role exists in the market hi everyone welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to discuss about one of the most trending topic which is how to become a business analyst we are going to discuss about the roadmap to become business analyst so whether you are just starting or you know you are looking for this career guidance so this video is exactly for you and you will get everything you need so it will be like a to z roadmap so let's get started without any further delay <laughs> Before going towards the actual roadmap or to become a business analyst, I would like to explain you what business analyst actually is. So what business analysts do? So they basically bridges the gap between IT teams and the business. Business analysts should be like very active and they should have a very analytical thinking. They identify business needs, gather and analyze data and then recommend the solution that will effectively help the organization to grow. There are a few basic skills that business analysts should be aware of. So the first thing which is analytical thinking as I have mentioned. You should have an ability to analyze complex data. You should have a good communication skills. So you should clear clearly convey your ideas to the stakeholders because yes in this job you have to talk to various stakeholders you have to explain the points you should have a good knowledge about what your organization is currently doing so you have to like have a good communication skills problem solving ability yes of course problem solving ability is important here develop a solution for business you should have an ability to tackle challenges and you know give an effective solution for this the technical uh, knowledge so you should have a knowledge about various uh, tools like excel uh, SQL, Power BI, Tableau. So these tools are important for you to know. Then it comes to the educational background. So see, while uh, a degree in business or IT or finance is common, but it's not mandatory that you should have degree of all these things only. You can have some other degrees, but you can apply for that. The main thing matters here is the experience, if you have any, and the prior projects. So many successful business analysts come from various educational backgrounds. But yeah, the one thing you can do is you can do online certifications like uh, I have heard about CBAP or you can do PMI, PBA. And yes, you can enhance your credentials and demonstrate your commitment to the field and you can post upon LinkedIn that you have done the certification so it will help you to get jobs around this field then it comes to the practical experience so how you can gain an experience so here again hands-on experience is invaluable when you say but seeking internships like um, if you have any volunteering opportunity or like any entry-level position part-time job you're getting within this field then definitely go and take it and participate in projects that uh, basically allow you to apply your skills practically and real world experience that will definitely gonna help you to understand uh, how this works and it will definitely gonna build your resume as well at the same time then i'll talk about some of the tools which I have already mentioned about Power BI and um, Tableau. So you should be proficient in right tools and it's very essential for this job. So you just focus on few tools like you can focus on Excel. I hope that a lot of people already aware of what Excel is for data manipulation and for the data analysis. Excel is like one of the crucial analyst tool you should be aware of. Then it comes to SQL. So to extract and manipulate data from databases effectively, you should know about Excel. SQL also and then Tableau and Power BI so Tableau and Power BI are the softwares for creating impactful visualizations and that help you to convey insights so that's how you can show the whole, whole, whole insights of your projects and it's like a very good tool so you should it's very good for you to learn it then Jira goes for managing the project for making the task efficient and yeah taking the time to learn these tools will definitely set you apart from the competition so make sure you have a good knowledge about these tools and not even good so you should have a very basic knowledge if you are applying for entry level jobs business analysts need a solid understanding of their industry as mentioned they should have a good knowledge about what their organization is doing so that when it comes to research market trends or you know um, competitors out there and the customers behavior so they should come up and give a solution so this knowledge will allow them to you know provide relevant recommendation also to the company that will basically align with the organization goals as well so this is what we company will expect from you 
and yeah in the end i'll say that uh, building a professional network is also important at the same time any field networking is important and it's crucial for the business world so attending industries econ conferences or joining professional organizations and engaging on platforms like you have linkedin building relationship with various leaders out there so it it will not only help you to network but also you know you can get opportunities like mentorship you can get job leads you can also get uh, collaborative projects so make sure you are doing all these things at the same time you are preparing for this job and then continuous learning is there you should keep on learning keep on analyzing new tools business environment is ever evolving and staying updated with the current trend is very important at the same time be, make sure you subscribe to industries new newsletters are there and participating in webinars enrolling in online courses so it will help you to learn new skills new methodology such as agile thing you you should learn about that also so you know make sure that it's on your resume so that it will help you to attract the recruiter data analysis ux ui design or project management so see i'm telling all this because specialization can help you to become an expert in the particular field it will make you more valuable in front of employers and definitely open a lot of doors uh, since you have knowledge of these tools so learning is all never enough you can learn a lot of things in your life but you will learn the much you will get opportunity so yeah it's never ending and in the end your yeah, career advancement strategies are there so to advance in your career um, i'll say that document your achievements and and post it on linkedin or you can write a blog about it you can you know seek regular feedback also and um, communicate with your uh, like career aspiration to your managers to and look look for the opportunity and uh, take on the leadership role within the project so that when you are giving an interview you should have a leadership role which can define your analyst role key that okay this person can be a good fit for it and continuous uh, self improvement is definitely a key so make sure you do that and then when you are preparing for the interviews how you can prepare it and how you can you know stand out in an interview that is also important so first of all when you are sitting for an interview i'll suggest to just research about the common business analysis interview questions and answers and practice practice your responses by yourself you can you know record yourself and you know you can practice it how you are speaking and be ready to discuss your past experiences with your interviewer and showcasing how you have used your skills to you know derive the results in better way and yeah basically having a portfolio of your work can also make a strong impact and impression so make sure you can you you do all these things while sitting for an interview be confident in within when you're giving an interview because they should know that okay if if we'll select this person they can definitely help us to you know talk to stakeholders and talk to other people clients and you know get a good response so that is also important and stay informed about emerging technologies and industry trends as i've already mentioned so it's important to be updated these days ai is one of the thing you can learn about and machine learning big data so understanding this trend will uh, help you to adapt your skills and approaches to meet future challenges so i think that's uh, enough about today's video this is kind of a road map that you can um, take in account when you are just looking for a business analyst job and you have just started and you are like researching about it everywhere so this can help you i'm not going much deeper way but i think this is the enough thing and i will like to conclude my video here if you found this video valuable so you can please like share and subscribe and yeah let me know what topic would you like to uh, explore next what kind of roadmap you want let me know in the comment section and thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next one bye bye